Let's take a look at the possible 11 then. As uh, Mark mentioned, Jaden Sancho confirmed after years of speculation. <laughs> Is this team good enough to win the league, Casey? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if uh, you know, uh, Cavani can score the goals that they need. I mean, right. he's done great for coming in, but I still see him probably in his situation being that secondary striker to play, come off the bench. If you know, obviously there was talk about you know potentially a Harry Kane or something like that, or even you know doing a double deal with Sancho to bring in Erling Holland as well. Uh, I could see that more. Uh, I think Rashford has to have a better season. Yes. Um, Pogba has to be more motivated than he's shown in a Manchester United shirt. If he shows the same motivation that he does for France, yep. for Manchester United, potentially. Um, and then obviously De Gea uh, needs to get back to his form of a couple years ago. The thing, the thing is really done that uh, what we saw there, uh, Manchester United have been, uh, have been good when they play with Mike Tumini and Fred. Right. Never with Pogba and uh, Fred or right. Mike Tumini and Pogba. Uh, they've been stronger defensively, and therefore they could play contra-attack. So you would sick Pogba? Well, there is a question mark. Where do you put... Where you put that's been the problem, the current problem about Pogba. Where do you put him in the team? How do you settle or line up your team uh, with a player like that? Yeah. Yeah, of course he's a fantastic player. He's been maybe the best French player, but <laughs> it is a problem. It is a problem defensively is a real problem because he doesn't like to defend. Yeah, Mark, this is something that you've written about a lot over the years. <laughs> written about, spoken about, it, it seems to be the same thing that comes up time and time again with Paul Pogba for the last five years since he's been at Man United. He's a, he's a great player, as you've seen in the Euros. For me, he's, he's a luxury player that Man United can't afford right now. He, and I've, I've had to do my predicted team, he's not in it. Because I, I looked at the attacking options that Solskjaer's got, and I think obviously Cavani will play as a centre-forward. Then you've got... You've got Sancho to the right, you've got Bruno Fernandes being up behind Cavani and I picked Marcus Rashford on the left. So where do you put Paul Pogba? I, I agree with, with Frank, you can't play him in a defensive two because he hasn't got the, the kind of the concentration levels and the, and the discipline to play in that role. I, I don't think Fred's the answer, but I think Fred at least will defend. I think, you know, when Pogba plays it alongside Scott McTomey, it does bring a bit of passing range to United. It does, it does actually give them something. It's just when the ball is going the other way and he has to do more defensive work and the responsibilities that he lets them down so you know if, if Paul Pogba was to sign for Real Madrid or PSG or a top top team that you know will attack I, th I think you do well but I think in that United team I just think he's a liability at times good enough to win the league that team Ali no they're still yeah, wait, wait think about it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're still playing against Manchester City right I'm, Liverpool and, yeah. and and there's yes and yeah, you expect we're not to even bounce back from we're Liverpool, not even mentioning sure. some of the other teams yeah. And if the reports are true and the idea of Harry Kane and Grealish and all, all that Manchester City could possibly be, are you kidding me? No. Yes, they'll be better. Does that make them champions? No, I don't think so. Now, Mark, the understanding is if they want to strengthen the squad even further, they're going to have to get rid, rid of some players. And you take a look at the potential list that, that <laughs> may be on that transfer list. De Gea, no one's going to pay his wages. Phil Jones, everyone's forgotten he even yeah. plays. Phil Jones! No one's paying money for Pogba. <laughs> Jesse Lingard's certainly a possibility. Martial will get you the sack. Then you've got Pereira, James, and a lot. You don't ah. feel there's a lot of players there that could increase the funds that Solskjaer will have to spend. No, no I mean, I think Jesse Lingard might have put a bit of money onto his feet during his, yeah. his time at West Ham. I think Martial, somebody will pay maybe 20 million for him. I don't know. I wouldn't pay it for him, but somebody might. I think... What United really would hope for is that somebody will make an offer for Pogba. I think they realise privately that they won't get what they feel he's worth. He's got a year left in his contract. And I think, I don't think people at United expect Pogba to sign a new contract. And I don't think Pogba wants to sign a new contract. Why, why should he? You know, why should he stay at a club that isn't going to win things? But who is going to offer 50, 60 million pounds for Paul Pogba this summer? Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.